It's Monday again. It's my last week of working from home. We're hoping to open the museum next week and we're hoping to have one student start next week with me. So that's exciting. We're in the process of hiring three students right now. We're just waiting for some feedback from Young Canada Works. They have to approve of the students that we hire, so nothing is official until they say it is official. And other than that, this week I worked on my manager's report today. So our board is meeting this week, and at every board meeting I write a report for the previous month. So I got that out of the way for this week, so that's good. And I got to scan a couple house files this morning. Uh, a couple requests came in to see what we have on a few houses in my home bay. Um, one that I've never really looked at the file for, so that was pretty interesting to see what we had on that one. And it had previously been on one of our home and garden tours. So that was nice because it meant that we had a page of information from when it was on the tour and our volunteers who worked on the tour for us did some research on that property in order to have it on the tour and have information about its history. So that was a nice bonus that I had a little bit less work for me <laughs> when that's already in the file. We're still working on home and garden tour stuff, speaking of. Um, so I'm recording our online ticket sales. So if you send an e-transfer for your home and garden ticket, then I take your name from the message and put it on our list so that when you come to pick up your ticket, we'll check you off our list. And we're working on a little sneak peek video for home and garden tour. So I got to work on that today and uh, work with the committee of volunteers to pick what music we wanted to go with this video. And I sent them a draft so we'll see if they like what I did so far. And if so, then we'll probably be posting that on social media soon. And other than that, I'm checking my emails a lot because I'm still waiting to hear from Young Canada Works confirming our two students. So hitting refresh a lot there, more than usual. And I also got started on our staff schedule for the summer, um, figuring out when the students can work until in August and going backwards from there, depending on how long their contract is. And then asking them if they need any days off so that I can figure out the schedule ahead of time. I'm hoping we're going to open next week, but I'm not sure exactly which day. <laughs> um, I have to... I, I have a couple things personally to do next week, so that is affecting that. Um, and then we also have some building repairs going on. So if you've walked by the museum recently, you probably noticed the front stairs <laughs> are under repairs. So we're really excited about that because the um, railings we're getting a little wobbly, um, the beams were a little rotten, and uh, we just wanted to make sure that nothing happened there, safety-wise. So, those are under repair, and um, we may have to open without them. Oh, there's a cat behind me. Um, we may have to open without the front stairs finished, which isn't ideal because obviously most of our foot traffic comes in from the front door. Um, but we'll just put a sign saying that we're open, but you have to use the back door and see if that gets us any visitors. There'll be a nice slow intro anyway into the season. And the student that would be starting next week uh, is a student that worked with us previously. Um, so that's great in terms of training. It goes a lot smoother. And then we also have some heat pumps that we're working on getting installed in the museum. So we're kind of working around their schedule and uh, depending on, on 
when they can come in and whether they get it all done in one day, um, then that'll change our plans on what days we're going to be open because we can't have the power on while they're doing that. So hopefully I know more about that soon and I can post on social media when we'll be open. Um, next week is going to be a weird week and then after that we'll be open our regular Tuesday to Saturday. Um, yeah, so we'll be closed Sundays and Mondays, which is nice because it gives the staff members every second weekend off and also gives us a Monday off to get appointments and <laughs> things done because otherwise, if you're only off on the weekend, um, things get really tricky when you're trying to book, you know, like a doctor's appointment. <laughs> um, so that worked really well for us last year, so we're going to do that again. But yeah, you'll be seeing some more Home and Garden stuff and some more information about us opening soon. And then next week, my tea time with Lynn should be in the museum, which will be exciting, more exciting than this white backdrop of my house. <laughs> um, and this week, speaking of tea time, I'm not actually drinking tea this, this video, I'm just drinking water. Um, this is my water bottle, um, with fishies, um, which I got from the Cosmic Hippie Boutique in Mahone Bay. Alright, that's it for now. Bye.